This morning we're going to quickly debug the error. A transport level error has occurred when sending the request to the server. Provider TCP provider error zero. An existing connection was forcibly closed by the remote host. Um, let's just suppose hypothetically that this was uh, a window in which we generated that error. It'd be a nice little red error message. Uh, one of the quick solutions is this. Uh, you can use the database. Let's suppose that doesn't work, though that will almost always work. You can always do control A, copy everything, control C. So control A, control C, then do new query window, and then do um, this right here, and now we can select from, let's say, one of the tables, and that will be fine. In the rare cases in which, and I don't think it would generate that error anyway, because it's actually going to be terminated by the remote host, you will think you're connected here, but what it really means is that um, the remote host has disconnected you and you're not seeing it on this end. Uh, for instance, if let's say the database wasn't connected, for instance, if we weren't, then of course we would have naturally uh, connect to the database. But like I said, I don't, I've never seen that error message um, when I was connected, or when I wasn't connected to the database. It would bring up the box, you know, connect to the database if that was the case, just like what we saw. So, and it's one of those that they have. this error message is very simple to debug, but it is something that I understand. It can throw people off temporarily. They're like, huh, what? Oh, and um, once you solve it once, it, it does look uh, really confusing. What it really just means is that the, the other end terminated your connection, even though you may think you're connected. So just use the database name or, of course, uh, Control-A, Control-C, open up a new window and copy, and those are the easy, quick, fast solutions.